one Mark the Movie Man here. Um, yeah, today, you know the show. We're here to look at It's a Good Day to Die Hard, the latest installment in the Die Hard franchise starring Bruce Willis as John McClane going to Mother Russia, apparently because John McClane's son has been in a lot of trouble and he's on trial in Russia. Well, he's not actually in trial in Russia, it turns out, and this is in the summary, he finds out that his son's actually a good guy and he's trying to take down the bad guys and John McClane helps take down the bad guys with his son as they try to reconnect because they've had a falling out over the years. I'm going to rant here, folks. Oh, my Lord. It's a good day to die hard refers to the price of admission. It refers to your money. The money that... that oh, where to begin with this film? It's it's not good. It's it's not good. It, it, it's bad because John McClane's such a great character. Now, I know sequels can't live up to the original. I enjoyed 2, 3, improved, and yes, much unlike some other people, I really liked 4. I liked the previous one. John McClane felt like John McClane. Now, the unrated version, not that PG piece of crap that they threw out on the big screen. No, when I got the unrated copy, that was John McClane, and it felt a lot more natural. It, it was a little bit more over the top, but at least he still felt like McClane. But that's because he had a director who knew how to handle the material. John Moore. Yes, this guy... What the hell, man? Did you decide to reach into the bag of action movie cliches and decide to plaster them all on the screen without really any coherent feeling? And this, this storyline they put in here with John and McClane and his son being separate, uh, you know, being estranged in that... You know, that script was bad! The dialogue between them for trying to establish that... Not good and done at the most inopportune times. Oh my god. But what do you expect? The guy who wrote this wrote Swordfish. Okay, and I like the A team. I enjoyed it. But the guy also wrote Swordfish and he wrote X Men Wolverine. Explains a lot with this film. It's not John McClane. There, there's hints of John McClane, which start to give you hope, but it's only the hints of John McClane that it gives you before it crushes them beneath its heavy Russian boot. In Russia, die hard pay you to see film because it's bad. Very bad. Folks, do not waste your money with this film. I don't care how appealing you may feel Bruce Willis is. If you're looking for a die-hard film, this isn't one of them, okay? This is explosgasms all over the place with a long car chase that makes no sense. John McClane, and not at any point do you feel like he's actually threatened like you had even in the first three films and they hinted at in the fourth one no nowhere near that feeling of threat at all it's gone okay chemistry between Jock Courtney and Bruce Willis pff, not there Bruce Willis, if there was ever an example of some actor cashing it in for a film this would be the one folks I wanted to enjoy this film I I refuse to believe that it was as bad as many people were starting to say out there because I have, as my wife puts it, what taste, Mark? Really? Okay, you've seen the films I watch. Okay, taste? You know, it's very soft. I'm very forgiving on some films. This one, no! This sequel is an insult to the original by leaps and bounds. Okay, folks? Just wait for the rental if you want to, okay? Wait for a free rental. Then you won't at least feel like your money's been ripped from your pocket and wasted. Ah, oh, burned up into the many explosions that happen on the screen as they move from one video game boss to the next. Yeah, it. you can guess it. I, I wanted to. I, I do give it a stub. For the hints of Bruce Willis trying to be McLean with this horrible script and this bad direction. But in the end, this is just milking the franchise. This is, this is 
the Jason Takes Manhattan of the franchise, okay? It, it is. Just avoid it. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm. <sighs> That's all I've got for you folks tonight. Until next time, keep that ticket.